What's going on guys? Connor back at you with another video. So as many of you know, or if you follow me, I love to trade stocks and what better way to learn to trade than to trade from your phone on a game. Okay. I'm going to show you this app that you're allowed to download and I use it till this day. Um, especially when I'm bored, sometimes I'm just hanging out and you have nothing else better to do. So I will literally sit there and practice trading stocks from my phone. I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready? Boom. Here we go. So this is an emulator I'm running on my computer screen, but you can download the application from your phone and that's the cool part. So you can have this stock trading game wherever you go. And I mean, I hear the question all the time. People always ask like, where can I use something for free that's going to teach me how to trade better, um, that doesn't cost any money um, and so on. And this is exactly where it is. So if you're on your iPhone, um, I use Android, so I wouldn't know if it works for iPhone, but I'm assuming it does. So if you go to the Play Store um, through your Apple or your Android, um, simply come up to your search bar and type in trade trainer. Okay. Um, and I use this one right here, this one with a little graduation hat on it. Okay. I already have a download, but obviously you guys know what to do from here. You would go in here and download it. And then obviously you can open it. So let me go ahead and open this. All right. And it looks just like this. Boom. Voila. Okay. So this it's really cool. Honestly, I'm super excited to bring this video to you because this is something that I use all the time. Okay, so they start you off with the portfolio value of $25,000. Um, obviously, there is no position value or portfolio profit yet because we haven't taken any trade. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't going to make you the world's best trader. Obviously, there's so much more that plays a role into actually trading stocks when you're actually trading in the moment in real time. Okay, because the bars aren't going to look like this. The bars are going to jump back and forth. You know, they may go up and they may come down. They may go up. These are obviously, this is just a game, an emulation, um, something that you can start to practice with when it comes to trading. You can use this to learn how to spot trends. Um, you can start using this to draw support and resistance lines. You can start recognizing candlesticks and their meanings and their patterns. And then you learn, learn to play them so that when you're looking at a stock chart in real life, um, determining whether you're going to buy or not, you can think back to when you were using this or you're still using this and say, hey, I remember all the time that when I seen any specific candlestick pattern within this emulator, this, the trend ended up going downwards or it was going upwards. And this can kind of just help you grow more confident in your trading. Okay. And at the same time, it's super fun to just sit around and dick around making fake money trading stocks. So why not? So let me just jump in how you can actually use this thing a little bit because it's actually pretty sophisticated for a little phone. Okay. I mean, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was when I first started with it. Okay. So here we go. If we go into settings here up in the right hand, you'll see that little wrench bar. Um, there's a few things you can do with this. Okay. So I'll go into fast, slow, and manual here in just a second. But first thing that's really cool is we can add overlays to it. So if I wanted to add a simple moving average, exponential moving average, and so on, I can do that. So let's go ahead and just use some, we'll just use simple moving averages for right now. So I go ahead and click simple moving averages, and I'll just put my first one in white, and I'll make this 13. So we got a 13. Um make it in white finish. So now we have that in. and we can add another one. Let's do another simple moving average. We'll do um, my 50. We'll do a 50 moving average in red. Okay. Finish. We got that one. Add another one. We're going to do, we'll just do a 20 moving average, 20 length, and we'll put that one in yellow. Okay. So now I have three moving averages on my chart. For whatever reason, you know, if I wanted to, I could have the MACD indicator, which is a, it's a momentum indicator. I could have the RSI indicator, another momentum indicator. I could have the stochastics indicator, another momentum indicator. Okay. So there for this little app, there is, it's pretty damn sophisticated. I mean, think about it. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we run on our actual stock charts, you know, and what more do you really need? I mean, this is plenty to get you started. And honestly, I could easily, I mean, on my chart right now, I have, you know, my actual real stock trading chart. I have the RSI, I have MACD, and I use simple moving averages on my on my swing trading charts. Uh, but I normally use exponential moving averages. So long story short, this little thing basically has everything that I use when I'm actually trading besides scanners and stuff, but it, it's pretty much all here for you. Okay. So really, really cool there. 
So again, you have simple moving average, exponential moving average. You can even add Bollinger Bands if you wanted to. So I'm not going to go ahead and add them just for the simplicity of the video, um, but really cool. Okay, so now the advanced speed here where you see fast, slow, and manual correlates with how fast the actual stock chart moves. Okay, so let me move back here into the actual chart here. So now look, we have there are simple moving or sorry we have our simple moving averages on here okay so there's a lot we have going on and actually let me go back here into the settings tool um, and let's click wow there's our why isn't it popping up interesting let me try this one. Oh, there we go alright so there we go now it's gonna show okay so now we even have RSI on our chart we have RSI on our freaking little cool application chart here okay so this is the really cool thing about it we haven't even gotten there yet, but this is the cool thing about this is because here we go. You can click and it will upload a new stock for you. So if you get tired of trading one stock, you simply just click the next one and it loads. So like, look at, we have this stock we could play and we have a next stock we could play. So it's going to give you a whole wide variety of different price stocks and different stocks you can trade to start giving yourself some comfortability um, and maybe some confidence when you start trading. Okay, so it starts you off with a port portfolio value of $25,000. Um, and I think if you come up here, it tells you when you can become, so if you score 1,000, you become a novice trader. And then once you hit 500,000, they call you like an expert trader and so on. Okay, so that's some really cool stuff there. Um, if you want to use this up here, you can use this to draw trend lines. Um, so again, super cool stuff, right? So if I want to draw a trend line from here, oops. I can draw trend lines with this and you can start using this to draw your trend lines and you know you can even use horizontal lines like if you've seen support say there was support built up down here resistance up here you're able to draw you know trend lines so it's it's super cool it's pretty damn sophisticated um, for you know what it is okay and there's even you can even zoom in and zoom out so if you take your cursor and just move it to the right you'll zoom out okay so you can get a bigger picture of it so it's not just real small and then you can now take your trend lines, move them down, take these guys, and you can change them around to fit your trend better. Okay, so there's so much you can actually do with this little application. It's freaking awesome. Okay, so let's move to another stock here, and let's actually let's let's emulate. Oh, freaking app, of course. Or there we go. So now we can emulate. You know, maybe actually trading a real stock here once it loads okay so for example let's just take a look at this particular stock let's see what is it actually doing alright so based on this long-term chart it looks like we're at the high okay so like look at for example we're at the high we've seen on this chart we have seen if we look it's got resistance right up here um, which isn't surprising because now we're seeing some red right now because we've come up close to that high price point this area we've seen resistance up in this high price point twice so we've seen that it has some resistance here maybe why we're seeing some red so for me I would think that you know if it follows that trend we could definitely see it and continue to go down so I'll take a short position and you can bet 25% of your portfolio value it sell now here's the cool thing when you advance it it goes manually okay so based on this so when I go back into charts so if I were to hit fast right and I go back and I hit that and you hit advance it's gonna do it by itself it's just gonna automatically go okay of course I'm losing money right now so I'll cover right cover back max everything buy it back take my loss real quick so let's just show you so if you hit fast the chart will advance very quickly Okay, but that's almost like cheating because obviously the trends are easier to spot when a chart is moving super quick. It's almost like cheating. Okay, so if you go back into here and you go into slow and go back, you can hit advance and it's going to move a little bit slower for you. Give you a little bit more time to think about what the next move may be. Okay, so if you go back in and we just hit manual, now you're in complete control of actually moving the stock okay so I'll go to a new one here you will be in complete control you hit advance it goes one candlestick at a time 
And this is the way you really should do it so that that way you have time to develop a plan when it comes to trading some of these stocks, okay? So you're the one who's in control. Now, the best way to use this is really just use your moving averages as support and resistance. Watch for candlesticks to see um, potential plays. So like this is starting to curl up. I think I might go long here. There we go. That's one. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out that position um, because it looks as if this moving average might act as some resistance. So I'll go ahead and take my 1% gain. I'll sell max, lock in $137, close out this ad as soon as it allows me to do that. Oh, be naughty. All right. Um, advance. Ooh. So maybe took profits a little early on that one, but same time, you can't complain. So now we're back up. I would probably go long here, 25%. There we go. Sell, lock in the profit. Take a short here, even though I'm kind of close to resistance, but that's okay. Oh, going to cover, getting crushed. No, oh, bastard. Reshort, 25%. There we go. Oh, you're a bastard. So, it's fun to play with, as you can see. You can sit here all day and make predictions and get way better at which way you think a stock is going to go. So, that was just me playing with it for a little bit there for fun, not taking it super serious. But as you can see, this can be a great tool for learning how to trade, okay? I mean, I could sit here all day and basically just do this all day long, go boom, 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 and just start playing the stock market. And long story short, very good tool for anybody learning or trying to learn how to trade. Um, I think this can be very beneficial too. So use it as you may. I think this is gonna be awesome and have very great potential for those of you trying to learn how to trade. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you like the hat. It's nice and spiffy, brand new. So again, this tool can be very useful for you, especially if you're sitting around doing nothing. Why not practice trading? Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today. Stay tuned. I have um, read through all the comments and video suggestions, and I will be getting to them in a timely manner as I see fit. You know, I'm a busy person, so I will get to all those videos as I can, and I will. So thank you guys for being here. As always, please like and subscribe. All the links to the chat rooms are going to be in the description below if you want to be a part of our stock trading world. All right, guys. Take care.